okay so i'm just gonna jump right into it for my brows i'm using covergirl ultra fine brow pencil and lately i've been liking where my brows really natural so this pencil is good for that to conceal under my brows i'm using the la pro girl concealer in the color natural and i'm going to be using this concealer to prime my lids for the shadow as well okay so for today's look i will be using a jacqueline hill palette and for the transition shade i'm going to be using the shade mfeo using my morphe and 441 brush and to darken things up to give it a little bit of dimension um the second shade i will be applying is the shade hunt and i'm using a different brush just swiping that in my crease giving it a little bit of shade range and dimension to blend it together and for the crease that I'm cutting right now um, I'm using the shade beam and I'm going back in with the shade hunt so I'm going back in the shade um, beam just to overlay the pearlescent color and then I'm using the shade jacks on the outer edge just to further darken things up a bit more been uh, making sure that I'm blending everything together seamlessly so I did my eyeshadow off camera because my camera keeps shutting off and the girl don't got time for that okay but anyway it's time for foundation and I'm gonna be using my what the hell is going on <laughs> my Maybelline 24 hour foundation in the shade Warm Nude of Primer. Oh my god, the white one. Yeah, I need this egghead. I need a foundation brush because this is not a good foundation brush. This brush I'm using my more free M40, M39 brush. Let's go. Yeah, good. So to clean up the top of my brows, I'm using my same foundation shade. And to blend out the concealer, I'm using my e.l.f. Concealer Blending Brush. And I highly, highly recommend this blending brush. It blends out concealer so freaking good. Now I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to further blend in the foundation. But I'm just going to add a little bit more. First, I shape to in the color Light. And I'm gonna highlight with that. To blend out my concealer, I'm gonna go back and forth between my blending, my beauty blender, and my um, my Elf concealer brush to blend the concealer out because I noticed that this concealer gets dry after a while, so I have spent. A little time well I spent a lot of time blending this out because I didn't want it to look crazy I didn't want the concealer to look too white so I just spent a lot of time blending it out and as you should and now I'm just using my contour shade uh, I'm gonna link everything down below I'm just gonna contour my face my cheekbones and all of the perimeter of my face <laughs> To apply my contour shade, I'm using the Real Techniques. Um, I believe it's the contour brush or the foundation brush. I'm pretty sure it's the contour brush. And like I said, I'm just going around the perimeter of my face. And I like to blend the opposite direction that I apply the, um, the contour because I wanted to blend it with the foundation but not too dark. So, I mean, you'll see what I'm doing. So right here, you can kind of see what I was talking about, um, blending in the opposite of direction that I apply it. Um, you want to blend away from 
the foundation and the concealer but blend it together because you don't want to just blend it all together because then your foundation is going to be too dark but that's just a tip um i'm using this my beauty blender to further blend it out and i spent a lot of time blending that out and trying to blend everything together so that's very important make sure everything is well blended uh, make sure you get rid of that harsh line as much as you can because you don't want to make it that obvious if you know what I mean and now I'm using my elf foundation brush this brush is <laughs> this brush what the hell this brush is so amazing for blending out contour I highly recommend it um, the harsh line was so hard to blend out with the beauty blender but I just um, use windshield wiper motions, back and forth motions, and circular motions to further blend out the contour. And right now, I just wanted to blend out the concealer and the contour together to make it all come together and create my correct shade. This is so random and have nothing to do with makeup or makeup video or anything but oh my god my mama is making some dinner and it smells so good i'm talking about she making some dinner like y'all don't even know what she making she making some chicken some freaking vegetables some brown rice and it just smells so good some grilled chicken because you know i'm on this little health journey but anyway back to the tutorial um i'm just setting my concealer um my highlighted areas with the Ben Nye baking powder I'm not baking I'm just lightly setting and wiping it away and later I'm going to bake because I like to set first and then bake I find that when I set my powder first wipe it away slightly and then go back and bake it gives you like a flawless fin a flawless finish and it doesn't leave your concealer or your foundation looking cakey. So that's something to always keep in mind to set first, wipe away, then bake, then bake girl, then bake. So I'm using the same shade that I used to contour the perimeter of my face to contour my contour. I say contour, con contour my nose. I'm using the same shade to do that with. And I'm going to blend out, blend it out with a brush, an angle brush. For some reason, it's so hard for me to say contour. I always say contour, like what the hell is a contour? and strike a rose and I'm gonna be using a little bit of this swipe And I'm just using this Volume Lash by LA. Uh, LA Colors, I don't recommend this lash. This um, mascara it sucks, but I just needed something really quickly. A spray that's affordable. I really recommend this, and it's 24 hour long lasting. Yeah, so I'm just gonna spritz my face. Yes, girl. And I like to take a brush and just tap it in. That setting spray. So it won't be little dots around my face. I'm going to use my Revolution Love Culture Highlighting Palette. Oh my gosh. I don't think y'all ready for this. I don't think y'all ready. I'm just going to take this small brush. And I'm going to just going to push it out a little bit. Because that's blinding as hell. <laughs> oh, 
is she? Because who is she? Let's see what I said. How am I job hating on me? Of course you're gonna hate, sis. Don't hate. Appreciate. Get you some lashes from AliExpress and stop paying $30 for some lashes. Oh gosh. Zulu, see that? Zulu? Zulu, see me? I'm so happy right now. <sighs> Come down, Beach. Last but not least, for real this time. Oh my god, I think it's like a Last but not least, for real this time, is this lipstick, this lippy. Um, I got this from when I was working at the Gainesville Plaza, and somebody, they sell this as a brand, I don't know, it's called Ritzy. I'll, I'll try to look it down below, but I love this color. So cute. It's like a nude. And I don't line my lips all the time because I'm lazy. Yeah, I don't line my lips all the time. I really should use a final with this, but I don't have one. Should I put lip gloss on top of this? I think I will. Gloss. Oh yes, I'm living. So I'm all done with this look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And please subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Uh, bye. Until you matter.